It was not long ago when Nvidia planned an RTX 4080 with 12 gigabytes of memory, but soon unlaunched it only to come with the same GPU under a different name. It was the RTX 4070 Ti, which got a hundred dollars price reduction, but it was clear from the specs that it is indeed the unlaunched RTX 4080, as it was identical in almost everything. Even though the 4070 Ti became one of the best GPUs in the ADA family, this was because of its performance that was unmatched at the time. And to this date, enthusiast gamers prefer the 4070 Ti over the 79. XT. This time, however, it is AMD which seems to be repeating Nvidia's mistake of renaming its GPU. But unlike Nvidia, this will hardly benefit AMD due to several reasons. Let's take a look at the recently launched AMD Radeon RX 7900 GRE and analyze the first benchmarks against its competitor from Nvidia. If you remember from the past leaks, AMD was supposed to be working on the RX 7800 XT to go against the RTX 4070. But the problem AMD was facing was making it as good as the Nvidia card without pricing it insanely high. One of the most crucial problems here was the choice of die to be used for the 7800 XT. If you remember the RX 6800 XT, it used the Navi 21 die but the 7800 XT was rumored to use the smaller Navi 32 die, which was reducing the performance of this card significantly. The only way to save it was to use bigger Navi 31 die which is also used in the RX 7900 XT and XTX GPUs. But the problem for AMD was to determine its correct pricing. If it priced the card above $600 which is the official MSRP of the 4070, we all know there was no reason for why anyone would consider a GPU that is beating the 4070 with a small margin for a higher price. Not to mention the significant uplift with the ADA card in ray tracing. Therefore, AMD decided to rename the 7800 XT and launched it as the 7900 GRE. Here the GRE stands for Golden Rabbit Edition which sounds absurd and also has no effect on the card's abilities. Even though AMD might have launched the 7900 instead of the 7800 XT, this does not mean that the latter has been cancelled. But from what we can see from the 7900 sport is that it is not using a full Navi 31 die. Therefore, it can be speculated that AMD originally wanted it to launch as the 7800 XT but decided to change its name so that gamers would consider it a tier 1 card that is launched for a price of $649, which on the paper doesn't look too bad if you go by its naming scheme, but when we check its performance and specs, it is pretty clear that it didn't deserve to be included in the 7900 series. AMD's own chart shows the comparison between the 6800 XT and the 7900 which indicates that the 7900 is the successor to the former. It comes with 8 more compute units, 11% more stream processors, 2 times more infinity cache, but except for these, every other specification is pretty close to the 6800 XT. The base clock is now below 2000 MHz, the VRAM is 16 GB on a 256 bit memory bus clocked at just 18 GB per second, which is a significant downgrade compared to the 7900 XT and XTX. The XT and XTX cards not only bring 2 Gbps higher memory speed, but also higher memory bus width that results in a bandwidth of 800 and 960 gigabytes per second, which are around 38 and 66 percent higher than the memory bandwidths you will get with the 7900 GRE. This is pretty close to the 6800 XT, which is why I think that it is the 7800 XT disguised as a higher end product. And now if you move on to the benchmarks, the 7900 GRE is already tested by X Preview, but first we will look at the official numbers by AMD itself. Here AMD compares the 7900 directly to the 6800 XT, which once again is a clear indication that it considers it an 800 class card. At 1440p resolution, the 7900 GRE is just 13% faster over the 6800 XT, which if you think about it for a moment, you will realize that even if this was the 7800 XT, it wasn't even worth considering. And now when it is the 7900, it makes it even worse. The 7900 GRE has been priced at $649, but the 6800 XT can be found for as low as $520. So by AMD's own benchmarks, the 7900 is 25% more expensive while delivering less than 15% of performance uplift. Well, some might say that the 7900 comes with AV1 encoding or better ray tracing, but that just doesn't make any sense right now. If a card cannot even make more than 30% of uplift in rasterization, it isn't worth considering. And now if we move on to the 4K resolution, the performance difference shrinks even further, and now the 7900 is just 8% faster on average. Now let's take a look at the independent review by X Preview, where we can see that the 7900 GRE is barely outperforming the 4070 at 2K. The performance difference is hardly 5% but when switched to 4K, the 7900 does come out to be a little better due to having more VRAM and bigger memory bus. Still, it is unlikely that gamers who are going for either of these cards are going to play at 4K resolution because these are more suitable for 1440p. What's worse is that the 7900 is pretty far behind the 7900 XT which is currently sitting at less than $800 and is already considered as a bad GPU. Now as you have already seen its performance against the 6800 XT, it can be said that the 6950 XT is quite fast 
faster than the 7900 GRE and is already available for less than $650, which makes the 7900 a stupid GPU in the RDNA 3 lineup. I don't know what is stopping AMD to improve, but we can see that it has failed miserably, and I don't recommend buying the RX 7900 GRE at $650. Only if it is priced for like $500 to $550, it will make some sense, because that's what its real price is, as it is actually the RX 7800 XT. I don't know when AMD is planning to launch the 7800 cards, but I don't think it will make any difference in the GPU market, as AMD is also delivering nonsense GPUs one after another. I wish AMD could work as hard as it is doing in the CPU segment, where it is constantly releasing newer and cheaper CPUs that are on par with the more expensive Intel CPUs. One of them is the recently launched Ryzen 7500F, which competes with more expensive CPUs for a fairly lower price. Watch this video to know more about it and also let me know your thoughts on the RX 7900 Golden Rabbit Edition. Lastly, hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for more content like this. Make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss any future videos and I will see you in the next one.